How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are going to answer the age-old question for car guys, specifically muscle car guys. Is it better to buy a V8 or to buy a V6 and supercharge it? Today I'm going to answer just that. So let me go get the keys and let's go out for a spin. So this is my roommate's car, Will, or at Bilco on Instagram. I'm actually gonna pull it out right now. Uh, the sun is really bad outside, it's really bright, so let me move the whole car outside, let me move the Supra, and we'll start talking outside. All right, the car is pulled out, and what we're looking at is a 2013 Roush Mustang V6. You heard me right, this is a V6 Roush. I didn't know they made V6 Roushes, but apparently they do, and they come with a big brake kit, some other Roush goodies, and of course, the Roush appearance package, which, I mean, Roush makes beautiful Mustangs, as we can probably all agree. I love the, like, five-bar grill. It's just a great-looking car. But would you prefer to have a V6 or a V8? That is the question we're going to answer today. This is a supercharged V6. I will pop the hood in a second. But let's take a look at what he's done to the car. The first thing that will catch your attention is obviously the in-your-face wrap. It's this weird color camo wrap sort of i don't even know what you would call it it's like pop art but on a car it's a little bit too much for my liking but if you have power or mods to back it up more power to you he also has rf15s esr rf15s same ones my girl has he saw them on a forum and then he saw them on my girl's car and had to pick them up i think he got them like a month later wrapped in our triple eights and for the exterior that's pretty much it he has a street arrow front splitter and i believe a street arrow rear diffuser as well Everyone has their own tastes and preferences, although this might not be for me. Will loves his car, and that's all that matters. That's one thing I always say in all my videos. As long as you're happy with your car, that's all that matters. Now let's check out the interior. He has... He has an automatic transmission. All right, let's look at everything else. He's got Recaro seats. He's got harnesses, rear seat delete. So he's shedded some weight. If I climb in... We have a forged carbon fiber steering wheel, which is sick. I actually like how girthy it is. Weirdly enough, it's really girthy. Um, but that we got to talk about. This is one thing I'm not a huge fan of. Now, for this car, I'm sure it's great. But personally, this is my biggest issue with the car. I'll see how it actually drives with it. But we have an automatic V6 supercharged. So... We'll take a look at that. He also has a pedal commander right here. Um, but as for the interior, super clean, super simple. I do like the carbon fiber and I do like the Recaros, uh, but that's got to go. Also, a normal harness bar would probably be safer. That might submarine your spine. Uh, so I'm not going to wear the harnesses. Hopefully, does he still have seatbelts? He still has seatbelts. I'll be wearing the seatbelts. Let's pop the hood. Underneath the hood, we see the mighty V6 with a p1sc pro charger supercharger strapped to it he does have a ding right here i forgot the story behind that um i think it was like a mounting issue and they, they closed the hood and it hit or it fell don't remember but uh let's just ignore that everything else though seems nice you got plenty of room to work on it which actually seems really nice you, you stuff a v8 in here and you start to lose a lot of room he has an oil catch can but this is the big thing we're looking at here this is what we want to talk about does this make more sense, strapping it to a V6 than just buying a V8? I don't know. I haven't driven this car, so I have no idea. A few other mods I know of is he has like full suspension, really nice suspension as well, like the same stuff they put on the GT500, I believe. Um, I will correct me down below because I guarantee I'm wrong. He also is, I believe, full E85. He has larger injectors. So it's not just, you know, a 91 tune V6 with a pro charger. It is E85, larger injectors, a lot of boost. It's, you know, apparently this motor can handle up to five or 600 horsepower compared to a three valve that can only handle 450. And this is probably around the same ballpark in price range. Might not be that bad of an idea, but we won't know until we drive the car. So let me go get my cute camera girl and let's go for a spin. All right, V6 camera girl. What's your honest opinion? What do you think? Do you think this is going to be as good as a V8? Or do you think it's going <laughs> to... She is already shaking her head. What do you think? I mean, you have a V8. Now, your V8, I think, makes as much power stock as the stock V6. So that is kind of embarrassing. But what do you think? What are your expectations for this? Do you think it's going to feel torquey? Well, that's what the owner said. The owner said it does feel torquey, okay? He did warn me. He said it's a very torquey car. Torquier than most supercars, so I'm gonna hold them to that. Um, but do you think it's gonna feel faster than like a V8 or faster than like the WAP? 
for instance? I mean, what, what are your expectations? Where do you think it would rank between these cars? Well, since it has a Pro Charger, then it's obviously going to feel like what a car with a pro charger feels like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's some great logic there. I can't doubt you there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get a cold start, even though, I mean, I backed it out. It still should be cold. Oh, so. it's automatic too. So oh, yeah, and no, I already I talked about like that. It's not going to be as fun. Like just to drive around and stuff? Yeah. Sit in the driver's seat and let's see what you think, okay? I don't know about these harnesses. Okay, a she's... A lot of people are saying on this TikTok that, like, they're mounted not correct i mentioned that yeah he needs a harness bar he has them mounted to the seat belts and that's not good for your spine oh, so don't well don't put them on i'm not gonna wear them either because it's not, dangerous you're not gonna wear them what are you gonna wear they have seat belts oh. but i mean like seating position i mean does it feel better than your car seats better um, it's comfier are these oh, all yeah. those are ricaros oh, yeah. okay. all right well here record the cold start You didn't flinch? You didn't jump? Did it blow out your eardrums? It does start my heart. It does. <laughs> Do you have your keys? Yeah, I hear You know what? Go get your keys really quick. Okay, so she's gonna go get her keys really quick. It is really loud because the hood is open. You could hear the supercharger just whistling. I don't even think you guys could hear me. I'm gonna back up a little bit. It is too loud. The supercharger makes a lot of noises, a lot of cool noises, but it is super loud. We're gonna compare the cold start of the V6 supercharged to Mammy's V8 when she comes back. And you guys gotta vote below, which cold start is gnarlier? With the hood closed and actually being able to hear it, I mean, it doesn't have that v 6 y of a drone. Like, it sounds pretty nice. All right, she has her keys now. We're gonna compare the V6 cold start to her three valve. So let's see, the Mighty three valve with just full bolt-ons and 91 tune versus the E85 supercharged V6. All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, turn it off, turn it off. That shit, that shit, was, that shit was fucking loud. All right, so vote down below. Uh, I don't think our neighbors are too happy. Vote down below, V8 or V6. All right, we're gonna go around and drive the V6 now. I've never driven it. I've just moved it, like backed it out and stuff like that. So let's go for a spin and let's see how it is. All right, we're on the freeway, obviously. It is rush hour traffic. So the normal V6 automatic aspect, really nice because we're in fucking traffic. There's no fun to be had anyways. That being said, I am curious what his pedal commander is set to because if it does feel sensitive, like I haven't gotten on it, it's still warming up a little bit. I want to make sure it's at the right temperature before I, I smash it. But um, the, the, the gas pedal is super responsive. So I think that's because of the pedal commander. This isn't sponsored. I don't have one on any of my cars, but uh, it does feel pretty damn touchy. That being said, once it's warmed up, we're gonna start having fun ripping into it. And I wanna see, supercharged V6 or V8? All right, so I'm gonna toss this bitch in the sport mode. I don't know if I have to shift or if it'll do it for me. But we're in sport mode. Uh, you know, I'm gonna downshift. Fourth. Go to third. Break loose. 
loose, but he also does have really good tires, so I can probably credit it to that. But it it kind of felt like it wanted to <laughs> to kill a crowd. Like it did kind of, you know, you felt it swaying a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, band. Shut up, a detector. Anyways, yeah, it definitely uh, definitely seemed like it wanted to kill a crowd there. Definitely. So. <laughs> Does that mean it's like a V8? I don't know, It's it seems sort of quick. It's just, my only problem with it, my two biggest problems. This, it really seems to suck at shifting. And the wrap. I think the wrap is the second biggest issue because I feel like everyone's eyes are just attracted to it, which if you like that, which is cool. But I don't because then I can't have fun. I feel like if a cop, a cop's gonna see me a mile away and I'm not gonna blend in. If they, he sees a fucking blue Smurf car floating through traffic, you know, flying, I'm getting pulled over. So I think the, the wrap I would change just to go a little bit more subtle because then you can have more fun driving. And then the automatic, I mean, maybe there's a tune for it or you can like change some stuff with it and make it shift it better. But like, it seemed like it got hung up Maybe I was breaking loose and that's why, but it seemed, it seemed like I got hung up going from one to two. I'm gonna try to get a couple downshifts. Ooh, got a little pop there. Ooh. Let's see, we'll get a couple more. Downshift. It kind of pops. First gear, let's see. Oh, I didn't do it there, not really, all right. So I'm gonna drive a little spirited right here. There's like a little swooping turn. Yeah, this thing. Whoa. I'm trying to see. It felt when we were going down, like the rear end was either chattering or it was floating. Hey, Dad. It didn't. I don't know how the fuck he drives this through a canyon. It feels floaty. Like, weirdly floaty. Like, I'm not a fan floaty. <laughs> and this homeless guy is gonna fucking try to break in. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because I haven't driven the car that long or what, but it doesn't feel like any of, of my car suspension. And I have an S197. It doesn't feel like your S197. It feels weird. It feels more floaty. I don't know what his shock setup is like or suspension. I'll uh, get that from him when he comes back from Vegas. But I don't know. Like, it feels like, look how much of the wheel I can turn before it does anything. Like, dude, that's a lot. Yeah. That's floaty and we're barely moving. So, here, we're going to roll down the windows and get a tunnel pull. <laughs> a V8 right there, I'm not even gonna lie. It kinda sounded like one. Kinda. Like, it sounded a little bit raspy. It, it almost sounded fucking like the LT4. Oh God, let go of me. <laughs> sort of, like, there's a certain <laughs> exhaust note when you have like the Corsa exhaust, I think on the LT4, and it sort of sounded like that. I mean, like, faintly, but it didn't, it didn't sound like a, a trumpet, so that's good. Everyone's staring. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. supercharged V8 feels fucking immensely better than that. So it's like, you know, what do you do? Do you buy the V6 and supercharge it? And if the motor blows, I believe Will said these motors are like fucking 600 bucks at a junkyard. Do you do that? Or 
do you buy the Coyote or the three valve and supercharge that? If this thing makes more or can handle more power than a three valve, I'd say go this route. But if it was this or a Coyote, I'd probably say just go with the Coyote. I don't know. That's just me. I mean, because at the end of the day, it's a muscle car and it's a V6. So it's not a muscle car. And it's not even, I mean, you don't even have a manual transmission. I don't know. It's so like, ugh. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Like, it, it was fun. Okay, like, doing that pole, it felt quick. And I know for a fact, like, smoking a, a brand new Mustang in this thing would be so satisfying because the guy would be like, what the fuck was that? That thing's supercharged. Yes, supercharged six. Like, that's funny. But, like, that's, that's like your only competition. It's like a bone stock. From like a roll i mean from a dig it's whatever but i'm, I'm talking about roll racing that's what i do so i don't know i gotta see this against the wop i think after driving it fuck, i don't know i think the wop would get it on top i of think it. the wop yeah this thing would definitely jump ahead but i think the wop will get it i think the wop will get it i don't know we'll go the back the wop is fast and it the feels wop is fast. immensely more faster than this nothing yeah i think the wop will get it and it's lighter too but yeah i don't know let's go back to the house and let's uh let's have our final thoughts all right, we made it back in one piece. Now let me answer the age old question. So should you supercharge your V6 or just buy a V8? I think what it comes down to is budget, but I think no matter what, what I would choose is the V8, okay? And hear me out. The supercharged V6 does have a place and it is a fun car, but it's not gonna compete with many modified V8s. I mean, unless it's a Mopar, we know those things are slow as dirt, but I mean, any modified V8 from a roller, this thing isn't gonna stand much of a chance. Now, I know it's still got more in it and it can, it can output more power, but essentially what it comes down to is you're shooting yourself in the foot if you start with a V6. I'm not saying it's bad if it's your first car, but what I'm saying is if that's your baseline and that's what you're trying to build as your project car, I would wait and just buy a V8. It makes more sense. There's only very few scenarios where having a supercharged V6 is as fun as you think. I think beating an unsuspecting car like a stock V8 or something like that, it would be very fun for that. But other than that, you know, just bowling random cars, you could do that with a stock V8 anyway. So there's only one person that you really want to be, and that's stock v8s and above and to do that it's going to take more than what i think a supercharged v6 can do but maybe i'm wrong i don't know we'll see what bill co ends up doing with his anyways guys let me know your thoughts would you take the supercharged v6 or start with a v8 and build from that platform not everyone is born with a silver spoon in their mouth and i understand that so everyone's going to have different opinions and different circumstances I'm not judging anyone or making any assumptions about anyone but at the end of the day what would you do vote down below i'm really blind i don't know why i'm deciding to record like this i can't even see the camera so i'm gonna wrap up this video right here let me know what you guys think down below thank you bill co guys go follow him go uh, check out his instagram page he's got a cool car he's got more cool cars coming so let me know what you guys think subscribe to see more videos like this one and until next video peace